Hello YouTube, welcome back to uh, part two of fixing the front end. So last week we, um, or the last video rather, we got the fiberglass done. So it's nice, nice and strong now. Uh, which is our back, we'll just show. So that's uh, uh, that's all, all part of the same. And today we are going to do some body filler, aren't we? So I get it. So we're gonna get it round back filled up in this gap here um so that it's all <coughs> basically level. Um this gap is nice and brief. Remember it wasn't really that bad, just cracked, but we'll just kind of ground it out. So we'll put a skimmer filler in there. That one I'll just need body filler, not the P40, and then excuse me, Becky. Down here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it with it. Yeah, we'll just put a rubber on your finger. We'll run some in there as well so what we're going to do first is uh, get mixed up and then i don't know if i've got any standard body filler but for the purpose of today what we're going to do is get the p40 filler in which if we go into the garage oh we think we've got the cameras fixed as well there's a little flip side so so p40 fiberglass formula so you get your i've got a big tub as well but i forgot i had this here actually you get your body filler, <coughs> hardener, mix it together and it basically works like a, a normal like filler. A works like a normal body filler. So it'll fill the holes, but it's got fiberglass. So in here, it's got like a fiberglass reinforced formula. So we'll do that and then get that sorted. And then once that's gone hard, we'll kind of sand it back and then run a skim of bog standard filler over, which I don't think I have any. Oh, yes, I have P38. Um, multi-purpose normal body filler we'll just do the final coat with that and then it's ready for either paint or red vinyl whichever we decide to do but for the purpose of this one which one would dry quicker what like which kind of red would, would dry quicker well the paint will need to dry but the vinyl is just the sticker isn't it so it's already dry well then we'll put the sticker on. Well I might just put a red vinyl all the way across because mm. then the sticker might just do it all in one hit can you some signs. But we're gonna get this mixed up now and um, then we shall come back and we can watch this little lady have our first go at applying filler. Hopefully yeah. it works. Fingers crossed. So there we go, mixed, ready to go. So it's um that and a bit of hardener. I'm not gonna tell you how to do it. you know it's on the instructions everyone everyone will have a slightly different idea as to how to do it but the most important thing is that it goes into one color can you and just that hold the got phone on. and that you should wear gloves yes my skin doesn't matter about what your skin does doesn't it so yeah because i've got sensitive yeah so, and yeah. and on the so, last on the on, you had a little bit of a rash yeah i had a little bit of a rash on the so from it's the important resin. to wear isn't it so there it's all kind of one uniform color so what you're going to do now betty is basically get some on there and then like yeah just kind of yeah in. There you go. Oh, like on. all of so, that so turn it upside down and then just kind of yeah and then that's it rubbing it in mm -hmm. and then what you need that's it <laughs> oh brilliant that's a good first pass that can i just have a look for a second please all we need to do is just kind of scrape it off where we don't need it yet. Yeah. I'm just going to put some in there. Let's get, the, mm -hmm. get this shape up in there a little bit. So if we just run it that way. That's pretty. Looks funny. It's already going hard. Is Must it? have put too much hard in it. It's a bit hot, dear. Yeah. <laughs> right, that's that enough for that one. So if you put a bit more on now and then we'll do this big bit. Off there. Oh, Come sure, on, I just, use just, the rest. just get it. Yeah, we can mix them up. We and then just turn it upside down. And has it gone too hard? It's gone too hard. Turn it up, see if I can use it in this one. Oh, I put way too much harder in that, didn't I? Completely balls that up. Right then, well, that bit's in. So that's a nice coat in there. As you can see, hopefully that will dry nice, and then we can give it a quick rub down, and then um, we'll mix. Go on, we'll mix some more up. Yeah. Yay. 
so that's a, a nice quarter p40 in um, all I've just sanded it down quickly so now we're ready for uh, for some filler but as you can see it's kind of it's got the, the bullet but we didn't put any in there because that's just surface but, but yeah so now it's time to finish it off with uh, the p38 normal body filler and then uh, she's ready for well, a rub down after that and she's ready for paint or stickers see what uh, the guys at summer signs who sponsor us for all our vinyl work want to do with it so let's get cracking so this what i use it's kind of pretty mixed so just give it a quick mix give it on and uh wait for it to dry and sand it down to my boy showed you so work it in all right now you're pushing it in watch watch so it go like this way ah. and then you can just go up like that so that you want to make it yeah so now watch look back see how you've now then you've done it like that way it's filled the hole a lot so I then it. see it right and then it'll take it might take a couple of coats right just you've made it worse now because you keep coming back a bit yeah sometimes what you've got to do is just tear it up in stages yeah so you might not give it all at the first pass uh -huh. that's why we have more for that so just leave that as is for the time being and then do Maybe it's this bit next. You may need more than That's that. fine, we've got more. That's it, that's it. Brilliant. It doesn't have to be smooth, because that's what you sand it down for. It needs to be a little bit too high, if anything. Mm -hmm. Right, and then get a bit more on. Not all of it. Not all of it. That's Not all that. of it. Yeah, because you just want to squeeze it into there. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Oh, I know what to do. I know so what go. to do. I know what yeah. to do. But then you need to remember that one. You just need to remember to get this bit as well. Mm -hmm. And then when you go up, and then you can just run it all the way up like that, you see? Then you've got loads left. Fabulous. I'll just have it a second, I'll just... And then we'll just what we've got left, see, you can just kind of rub into there. Mm -hmm. And then you put the rest of it on. So that's it. Well, there might not be, but we'll do what we can. You've got loads on the spreader. Yeah. Put it on my mouth. I can do it. Sorry. I'm trying to help you, and you're not letting us help you. Because uh -huh. you're just moving it about. No, it wants to go that way. It was fine. Thank you. Because I don't need it all up where it doesn't need to be repaired. Yeah. Like I say, this will probably take a couple of quarts, which is fine, yeah? So for the first pass, what we'll do now is we'll leave that to dry. So that'll probably be nigh on good enough at the front, yeah? This will need another pass because as you look up there, it's sitting low. And then this one will need another one, and so will this. But we've got... We could colour the car, No, right? we're not colouring it in, you daft. It's, <laughs> what I think I'm going to do is I'll just get, because it's radiant red, Ford radiant red, this. So see where the paint's cracked and stuff here. Yeah. So what I think we'll do is we'll see Mr. Summer Signs. We'll just get, you know, opposite where we when it used to be. We'll just get the front maybe here, all the way across the front, wrapped like just a big sheet of red, down to the down to here, yeah. And then we'll put the stickers like the stripes and everything over the top of it, and then we'll paint it in the winter. Yeah. Happy days. First pass done. Well, another day, and we've had a little issue, haven't we? So this filler, this filler, which I have had for a few years, it must have gone off. So, um, no, so we've had to drag it all back out because it didn't go hard, did it? Just went like putty. It just went like 
it wouldn't dry so it went like putty and then now we had to take it off so it's a good job that daddy bought a new one so we've got new fashioned one so i need to mix it up so we're going to mix it up now and then i'm going to hire a thing on here and get it done and fingers crossed this time it'll dry but we'll just get it done in one because we, we did need to put a bit more on because we didn't have enough but We'll get it done and uh, yeah, so we'll get it mixed and then come back to it. Eh? Yeah. Well, that's had a, a nice layer of thick skin of uh, body filling out. So it's a case, it's kind of it's starting to set now. So we'll just let that dry, give it a good bit of time to dry, and then we'll get it up down. But uh, up and down it, it looks, doesn't look like there's any low spots. So fingers crossed, we've got it all right. Um, Obviously, race car, so it doesn't have to be showroom quality, but we still need it to look right. But uh, fingers crossed, and just kind of rub it over with some 180, um, give it like sort of reasonably level. I think I've got some uh, some paint, red paint here. I'll just kind of give it a quick, not today. I'll just give it a quick lacquer like of red paint, and then I think what we're going to do is see. Like I said in the last video. Oh, whatever it was I didn't want to see summer signs here get them to just kind of put a, a wrap of red vinyl right across the front um, and then we'll put the stripes back down over the top of those so it'll uh, save having to go to a paint shop um, faster and it'll actually also make the front end a little bit stronger we're having the vinyl on there as well so so uh, and then maybe it's painted in the winter we'll see oh I just leave it so we did get a hole in the wing on this side a few years ago, I don't know if you can just kind of see where the you can't really tell, can you? Just above the SDC stick, you might just be able to see the line. There's my finger, bloody hell, right there, bloody hell, right there. That little line there, that's where the vinyl is. So it's literally sort of one shade different, but it looks all right and it's been like that for a few years now. So we'll probably end up doing the same with the front, but it's amazing how one little crack, a couple of little cracks end up being. Such a big area, isn't it? But whether I've done right or wrong, I don't know, but it's how I've done it. Um, might just have to stick a little bit more in this bit here. We'll see how it, uh, see how it looks when we sanded it down a bit, get the shape right a bit. But uh, so obviously you can see it's not 100% perfect out the mould, but you know, we'll see. But yeah, so that's it. Going to have a cup of coffee now. Um, like, get, leave that to dry. So, you know, give it a good half hour, 40 minutes um, to set, and then we'll give it a quick black over with a bit of sand and paper. And uh, fingers crossed, it'll be uh, there or thereabouts. Keep everything crossed. Right, and so it's uh, not a hundred percent body shop perfect by any stretch of the means, and to be fair, not what I expect it to be when it's uh, me doing it and not a body shop, but it's. Uh, it's had a couple of uh, things, a couple of skins over with a bodge. Um, I've rubbed it down just for, for 180. Um, it's, it's smooth to the touch. Let's see. What we're going to do is just put red vinyl across, I've decided. So um, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. So what we're going to do now, or what little legs are here, is Adam and Cheese doing now, is we're just going to put a quick lick of red across. You only need to do it where the bodge is, yeah? I don't even know where if it's the, going to be the same colour. Where the bodge is? The bodge, this colour. So don't get too close. I'll show you first how to do it. Yeah. So when you do it, all you need to do is just little, yeah, little light coats. Are you doing it over where I just do? Put it over there. Let yeah. that dry. You never have to be an artist to do art. You never have to be an you don't have to be a dancer to dance like that either, do you? <laughs> Seen it all now, kid. Yeah, well. So, yeah, so we'll let that paint dry. Um, give it a polish off. I'll polish the rest of the front up and then um, give Wayne and Mark at some of the signs a shout and see when they can have it to uh, get it all striped. You just did. So, but yeah, happy days. At least she's uh, at least she's ready again, eh? So there's still a little bit of fiberglass on it, which I'll do off camera because it's going to be awkward as hell to do. But, um, just to where we are, uh, just here, join that bit in, 
it's no even zooming in properly is it so we need to kind of join that bit in get that sorted again but we'll do that when it's all off camera um i'm going to put a little bit of strength in behind this just where it's it's cracked a bit there and the other issue we have which i'm going to do while i've got the fiberglass out is the door you can see down here if it's zooming in properly you can see better there is is kind of coming away so we're going to take the door card off get the door panel off put some fiberglass down there and then um i might also drill some holes in this door because it's quite heavy so carl's going on a diet for the winter we've decided because we need to find we need to find a lump less weight or a lump more power so the weight saving is the free bit because it's just me time so if anyone has any good ideas put them in the comments um of, of any ways that we can you can see that i might have missed that we can easily get rid of some weight um then we've been working on the car if there's anything i've missed this like i say you can see oh well dave if you do x y or z it'll take a chunk out so with the exception of me going on a diet because that's easier said than done but but uh but yeah so let's uh, see how that dries how's it look shiny shiny so there we go again certainly not um showroom standard by any stretch of the means but for the i can hardly see where the paint is when it's dry it'll be exactly yeah the same. it'll still be a bit rough on the surface <laughs> but like i say it's a race car and it's gonna get vinyl over it so it doesn't necessarily matter so much and race cars always get crashes well hopefully not always well not always but, but uh but yeah for you know from the old uh kind of this far away malarkey looks all right doesn't it so it's uh it'll do um we might get the car painted over the winter or something who knows we'll, we'll wait and see shall we but it probably won't happen but no so that's it um done filled we fire fiberglass quick filler and it's uh back to being red so let's say just get a big stick of red vinyl across the front get the nice stripes back down um i'll see summer signs i'll give them a ring the on that'll not be a video it'll just kind of come uh. back looking like that so but yeah so at least the main thing is it's red once it's dried i'll give the whole front end a polish so that when it goes it's they'll put whatever they put on before they stick get the stickers on and then give it all stick it up so that it's shiny shiny honestly uh -huh. <laughs> so the next video that you guys will see we've got new rose joints for the front suspension because there is a bit of play in the top i think it's this wishbone so we're going to have an investing well i'm going to replace the wish the all eight rose joints for either side that'll be in the next video that's our next plan so uh follow us while we do that get new wishbones done and i need to have a look at the brakes as well because i am getting a bit of pad knockback so we need to try and look at ways of uh eliminate i don't know if it's literally just because of some movement but we're going to check wheel bearings we're going to replace the rose joints we're going to have a have a look um and these they're supposed to be floating bells but there's absolutely no play in there so i need to speak to high spec and see how their floating bell works in case of centers on a fixed bell by mistake in which case we need to get that sorted as well but um yes so are you going to say bye bye Forget to like, subscribe, share and comment. See you soon. Till the next time guys.